Hey guys, and welcome back to Blue Horizon Diving. As you guys know, we were in Thailand recently with Holly doing a course stretch prep course, but we were coming across some really strange objects in the water, and a lot of people were asking, what are these? Now, we're gonna answer those questions, guys. Welcome to Blue Eyes Diving as we explore the world, go traveling, take you guys with us on an amazing adventure around the world with Bali that we have next week. But guys, this time we're in Thailand and we're gonna check out what these weird objects are and tell you all about them. Let's jump in guys. Before we jump in, and check out these artificial reefs, it's time to move along the reef and see what the reef truly looks like in Thailand. It is full of beautiful marine life, except scary titan triggerfish. And then we finally come to what they're trying to achieve in Thailand. You find these really weird cubes everywhere. And a lot of people ask, what are they? Now this is a program the Thai government started back in 2009, looking in areas of reef where there's degradation and they're trying to create a rejuvenation project. Kind of how we see in Bonaire where they're replanting corals or with artificial wrecks being sunk in like the Florida Keys to help grow back marine life in the area. Now they're using these concrete blocks, some are also steel blocks as well. They're about 1.5 meters high, 1.5 meters wide and funny enough 1.5 meters deep. Now, they have had some good success and some areas they're still trying to get the marine life to come. One thing they've started doing is actually planting coral on top of the structures as well. And this is starting to have some success in bringing fish. But they're great fun to swim through. Just gotta watch out for the lionfish. They love these structures. But when you move through, they're great for using for PPB peak form its buoyancy. It's always worthwhile to keep an eye out. The deep ranks are always hovering around and watch it above you so you don't get an issue like the deep with a mori eel jumping out of you out of a structure. But it's really cool what they're trying to achieve. Now they've been sunk all over Thailand and the size of them are huge. Now we're just off Raja Ya and Raja Noi Islands where we're seeing them here. They're also at Kara Beach as well, Koh Phi Phi, Koh Samui, Koh Tao, they're everywhere in Thailand. And the ones here in Raja Ya and Raja Noi, we can see marine life is starting to come back on them with loads of goldfish and snappers. Pretty cool project to see. However, we're gonna have some more we're gonna be checking out at Raja Noi Islands as well. But as we move back along, we can see the structures aren't in areas where there's good healthy reef and loads of fish. Because this is what the reefs of Thailand should be looking like. And they are. You just go into the areas where there's coral bass, there's cod, there's so much around to enjoy and see. And of course, look at the nooks and crannies, just like in the artificial reefs, there's mori eels everywhere. And can you spot what we're looking for here? See it yet? Yeah, you can spot it now. Now it's giving away its camouflage. Cuttlefish as well, just kicking around the reef. Honestly, there's so many cuttlefish in Thailand, it is insane. Now for the second dive, we're at Raja Ya Bay. Now this is a bit crazy, it was really busy, loads of party boats here, so there's a lot of area to be cleaned up from people unfortunately chucking their beers and bottle cans after they're having a few drinks. However, here what they have done is they've stunk loads of structures, including a boat as well. This used to be one of the old like fishing party boats as well, and it's pretty cool to go and have a look, because as we said, this is a program you see in Florida and Australia a lot, and around the world, of sinking wrecks to create artificial reefs well. Again, in Koh Tao and Koh Phi Phi, they've actually sunk ex-Royal Navy vessels, 
But here, this is just an old like passenger ferry trawler boat that has got some cool life in it. Makes it a bit interesting for the divers and it has actually attracted a lot of marine life onto it as well. As you're going to see in just a moment coming up, we're going to see loads of fish swimming around the wreck. So we've seen great progress with creating artificial reefs around the world, but especially in Thailand as well. And of course, they've sunk some of those squares. So what am I going to have to do? Being a big child I am, I can't help it. I have to go through it again. Make sure my buoyancy is on point. Now, even though we have all these amazing structures trying to create marine life to bring back in the area, we also need to look around in the sand. And when you look around, you're not going to be disappointed because there's loads of little critters hiding in the sand in Thailand. As you can see, we have a little flounder. But it was a little bit tricky to spot, but I love seeing them because they are so cool to spot. And also, Boone spots not one, but two pipefish. They were so cool, they were, they were just sitting there relaxing, tend to be sticks on the seabed, hiding away, and then starting moving around as they're going around hunting as well. It was awesome to spot them, great spot. Now, as we said, we can see on these concrete blocks, they've started sticking coral to it. So this block was actually a plantation one, where they were actually planting coral onto it to try and create coral to spread, like elk corn or brain coral, other hard coral that they can easily spread and grow themselves. Which is pretty cool, so you can see this one here, we see quite a few have been planted on this structure in hope to make them spread and hopefully eventually coralize them all. Now these ones have only been in for a couple of years and as we know with the wrecks when they sink them, it takes a few years for the coral to finally come. But of course, me again, I can't help it. I have to go and check it out and go through them and see how I'm swimming around having fun being a big kid. You can always spot the big kids on these dives. But guys, we hope you find it really interesting looking at these structures, comparing it to what the coral reef looks like, as we can see in this flyover of beautiful healthy reef in Thailand, and then the areas of degradation, empty sand, where they're putting these concrete blocks in to hopefully regenerate those areas of desolation. Only we can hope, but guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, share and like. It helps us out so much. And as always guys, we'll see you on the next dive.